chemists and welcome to this episode of Bale's Chemistry. We're looking at the hydrolysis of metal aqua ions. This is the AQA A-level specification 2.6 reactions of ions in aqueous solutions and it's examined on paper one of your final exams. In the previous episode we looked at how metal aqua complexes are weakly acidic due to the water ligands partially dissociating. If you haven't watched that there's a link at the top of the screen so you can go back and watch that now. When we talk about acids and bases, there are a few different words we use to describe them. They're often used in exam questions, so it's important we know exactly what they mean. A Bronsted-Lowry acid is a donator of protons, and a Bronsted-Lowry base is an acceptor of protons. There's also the Lewis acids and bases. A Lewis acid can accept a pair of non-bonding electrons, and a Lewis base is a donator of a pair of electrons. We also need to understand what makes a complex soluble in water or not. Water is a polar solvent and is good at dissolving charged complexes. If the complex has a charge, then it will be soluble in water. If it does not have a charge, then it will be insoluble in water. We've already looked at the hydrolysis equilibriums when metal aqua ions are in solution and how this results in them forming slightly acidic solutions. In this example, I've removed the water from both sides to make the equation simpler. If you were to add hydroxide ions, it would shift the equilibrium further to the right as it would remove those hydrogen ions. If we continue adding hydroxide ions, it would remove some more of the hydrogens from their water ligands. This will happen to the complex no longer has a charge and a precipitate is formed. With metal 2 plus ions, two ligands dissociate, donating hydrogen ions to the base, forming two water molecules and a solid precipitate of iron 2 hydroxide. With the metal 3 plus ion, three ligands dissociate, donating hydrogen ions to the base and forming three water molecules and a solid precipitate of iron 3 hydroxide. The hydrolysis reactions we've just looked at are equilibriums, so they can be reversed by the addition of acid or H plus ions. In this example I've switched the reactions around so you can see how the addition of acid reforms the metal aqua complexes. The number of hydrogen ions is linked to the number of hydroxide ligands needs to be converted back to water ligands. This is usually the same as the charge on the metal ion. The word amphoteric means a compound is able to act as either a bronsted lowry acid and donate protons, or as a bronsted lowry base and accept protons. The aluminium metal aqua complex can be hydrolyzed to form a solid aluminium hydroxide, which is amphoteric. When it reacts with an acid, it acts as a bronsted lowry base by accepting protons. When it reacts with a base, it acts as a bronsted lowry acid and donates protons. If ammonia, NH3, is added to solution, it acts in the same way as adding hydroxide ions and removes the H+, shifting the equilibrium to the right and eventually creating a solid precipitate. You may also remember from the episode on transition metals, ammonia can be a ligand. When excess of ammonia reacts with copper aqua complex, it will result in ligand substitution. There's only a partial substitution, but it's enough to redissolve the blue precipitate form when it was hydrolyzed and form a deep blue solution. A metal carbonate, and for our specification specifically sodium carbonate, has different reactions depending on the acidity of the metal ion. Metal 2 plus ions are weaker acids than the metal 3 plus ions, and they form metal carbonate precipitates. The metal 3 plus ions are stronger acids and react with the metal carbonate as an acid, forming water and carbon dioxide, along with the metal hydroxide precipitate. The main difference in observations between these two reactions is that bubbles are formed in the reaction with the 3 plus metal ions. That's it for this episode of Bale's Chemistry. Lots of different equations to learn, so make sure you go back and check them carefully. As always, ask any questions in the comments below, and thanks for watching.